Welcome to At The Computer. Things are back to normal. We booted out all the witches, skeletons, and dust of the cobwebs, ready to roll on. Yeah, thankfully, I'm glad Halloween is over. All the ghouls and ghosts got me all feeling funny. Not a fan? No, not a fan. That's why this week I want to play something cute, colorful, so we got Blinks the Time Sweeper here. What's wrong? Bl it's a baby game. It's one of my favorite games. I mean, Frank's always bringing the games. He's got games like Half-Life 2 that are scary, games that no one cares about. Yeah, I'm all about blood, guns, and babes. Hey, well, I'm about cats and time. All so right, let's, let's have Bruce host this episode. Yeah, I'm gonna, hey, I'm gonna host uh, Blinks the Time Sweeper at the computer. Good job, buddy. Right. Welcome to Blinks the Time Sweeper at the computer. Lights, camera, action. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, I love this intro sequence. I thought it was so cool as a kid when I first put this game in. I've never seen this game in action, so this is all new to me, but... Oh, what do you think of it so far? Um... Okay, it's got that, like, Generation X, like, MTV vibe with the... Now listen to this music, man. It's so cool. Okay, it has a... <laughs> Whoa. All right. Yeah, it's, it's so rad. Oh, this is like some Final Fantasy cuts in. Right? I like your hair. Yeah, when I when I first put this game in, I was like nine years old when I got this game, and seeing this I was like, man, this must be the greatest game ever. Like I was just blown away because okay. I, I had no sign of quality at that yeah. age. And I mean, it doesn't look bad. I mean, I wouldn't say it's like an amazing game, not to That's cut to cute. the chase, I like but it. I really like this game. Um, but yeah, I like this little intro sequence, and now we're gonna just jump into it. One Hell thing yeah. I love about this main menu is how it says only on Xbox yeah. on the main menu. Dude, that was their whole branding, dude. Hell yeah. No other machines were powerful enough at the time to yeah. handle blinks. Uh, I think Which it's data box. Doesn't tell you any information. No, no. You you just gotta, open up a random he's, data he's box. You just gotta know what color, man. Load data box. Dude, fuck memory cards. I'm all about data boxes. All right, so this is uh, not a clear save, but it's on the final yeah, you didn't boss. You get all the secrets. It's on the final oh, boss of the game. This ugly. The, the, the UI in this game leaves a lot to be desired. Forge about Jesus Christ. Yeah, <laughs> it's, this game's got a okay. lot of great. Um, so how this game breaks down basically is that it's stage base, and then in between you can shop for items. I'm all about that. And then you can uh, go to the boss real quick. This is the best music in the game. All right. Oh, she's cute. All right. I would listen to this all the time as a kid. What kind of upgrades can you get in this game? Is it so, like upgrades or just items? So it's, it's just items. So you upgrade, your, you can buy retries and then you can upgrade. Like you start the game with like only like three mm, retries and okay. you can upgrade. Is so that now, lives or health? It's lives. Okay. So now I have like 10 lives. You can buy more. Should uh, the cats cap out at nine lives? That's, oh, that's a good point, Kinda man. Kind of missed that ball. All right, um, whatever. So you buy other vacuums, and the vacuums basically have different abilities. Like, one sucks some, like, some have higher yeah. capacity, some suck them up faster, some suck up bigger objects, and then you can buy cute uh, fashion. Red set radio. All right. Mm -hmm. you can can buy... you play as this cute girl cat? No. I like Actually, it. yeah, this is cute. It's got the whole Jackie, uh, Jackie Onassis thing going on. <laughs> I'm gonna, yeah. Look at that. All right. Bye. Yeah, she leaves it. See you she leaves. I love it. I love it. Jackie Kennedy. Uh, a I, cat. I find this game to be super fascinating because it's developed in Japan, a Japanese developer. That's Sega, right? Yeah. Hell well, yeah. Not Sega. It's, it's not a, Sega. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a Sega X. It's Sega team though. Like yeah, yeah. People um, who worked on Sega shit. Like it's developed by our company named Artoon, who didn't make anything else besides this really. Oh, besides wasn't like, a breakaway hit. No. Oh, this music's so good on this stage. Um. So the basic premise of the game is you are a time cat. Wait a minute! They fucking ripped this shit off from Luigi's Mansion. Oh man. They Xbox and GameCube both launched the same year with with vacuum cartoon characters. Well, this wasn't a launch child. This is like a year after launch. Oh, okay, fair enough. Xbox launched in 2001. Yeah. And then this was 2002. Okay. Um, so the premise of the game is, the you're a time cat and time cats control. They balance time throughout the world. All right. And when time starts to run amok, they turn into time crystals like this. Okay. And my job is to go in the world and sweep up the time crystals before they warp into monsters. All right. And basically, this, this world. Uh, got messed up because it was a, uh, and then you can pause it like this. Oh, that's tight as hell. Some bullet time. Yeah, and like I can Max be Payne. like, "Yo, fuck you, fuck you." That's awesome. And fuck you, kill everyone. Um, so that's like the main gimmick of the game is you collect time crystals and they give you time abilities. Um, but basically, this world became like a real havoc, and everyone's abandoning in this world, saying like, "Oh, we have to abandon the world." But there's a cute princess in this world who is cuter than the shop girl. Yes. Wow. She's a real girl. Whoa. And Blinks okay. is all about the real girls. All right. Well, some uh, people would argue that uh, you know cat cat girls are cuter. I mean, yeah, you know some people. 
But um, basically, you Blinks jumps into this world to try and save it from these guys, the pig monster men. Oh, that guy, that's not the Beyond and Evil guy? It kind of looks like the Beyond guy. They got the same bikes. Jesus. Oh, I got so, hit. There's so much going on this screen. It's shaking and all this yeah. fucking UI going on. I got oh, hit. he can rewind one time. I was like, uh, Braid. Yeah, man. I ain't no, in this game, don't make sense. Ain't no point to the game. Now, this game kind of looks wild. Oh, this, this shit, shit's shaking so much. Right, but I you know the controls, up. you know what's going on. This is yeah. Like, I'm, I don't Basically, know. this game might look real crazy if you've ever seen Nothing it. Nothing makes sense to me. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> hey, I just killed that guy. I just want to hang out with the shop girl. All right, I killed that guy, and now he's gonna just make a dating sim with the shop girl. Oh, I thought I killed him. Are you dead? Do you uh, no, lose I'm dead. a retry? No, yeah, yeah. You just rewind. So time. this is, you're using a retry, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> you fan of this so far? <laughs> So basically, it's it was, definitely Japanese. Yeah, that's why it's so funny. <laughs> Look at him go. Goodbye. Uh, this game is super Japanese, this but it's so almost much going on. it's on this American ass console like the Xbox. Yeah. Which is known for its like gritty yeah. like ha yeah, Halo. And so I think this game's really like fascinating to look at because it's like there's. Xbox was trying for a while to become like the new like home for a lot of forgotten Japanese they were, titles. Yeah. So it was this weird weird thing because like. Before Xbox, it was game, it was a Nintendo and PlayStation, and PlayStation was like, "Hey, real people play here. Yeah. Nintendo's for kids." And then Xbox came out. You can have your PlayStation, but hey, if you're a tech geek, if you're an adult, if you like Bill Gates, you know, like yeah. if you're a PC gamer, you, we have something for you. This is expensive, high level. We got Xbox. We got you know DVD player, all this stuff. Like, they're really tackling like a, a broader audience and an older audience with Halo and stuff like that. And like the sports games, all their Sims or yeah. like racing games. Uh, and then yeah, then they had this juxtaposed with all these cute like Japanese games like Jet Set, which was also trying to be Dreamcast too at the time. Well, like, cause like when the Dreamcast died, they basically brought a ton of Dreamcast developers and franchises yeah. to the Xbox, and they're like, hey, come over here, we're trying to get more. Cause basically when the Xbox launched, they felt the need to like create a mascot for it. And even though this game came out after launch, they wanted like they saw Master Chief was like too violent. Yeah. And they wanted like something to appear to like to appeal to people in Japan and appeal to kids. So is this supposed to be the international mascot to represent Xbox? Yes. And that's they were trying to push him, especially in Japan, be like, hey, look how cute this guy is, like for kids, Christmas, stuff like that. I do think he's cute. I like he's got he's got the cat sass. Yeah. yeah. I mean and you got Sonic you got Sega had Sonic, uh Nintendo had Mario, Sony had Crash, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but basically, like this game failed. <laughs> like within even within the course of a year, it didn't even break two hundred thousand copies oh, sold. Boy. I think it sold only like one hundred and fifty copies. Well, it made enough to make a sequel, right? I, Did they develop the same thing, the sequel? Yeah, they developed the sequel. The sequel is awful because what's it, wrong with the sequel? Do they try to like make it, it tough? It try it tries to be cool and tough, uh, and it tries to be that. more western. Okay. And I don't. Yeah. See, it's okay, just, this has the Sega charm going for it. Yeah, like, blue listen skies. To this. This, this is music. Nice. Like, I loved this game as a kid because I was a big sucker for, like... Everything in this game looks like it's a gummy. It's got this, right? like, gelatin, I like, love gloss it. over it. I love <laughs> it's it. It's very cushiony. Look at this water. It's the beautiful. water is nice, though. I like it's that. It's beautiful. Yeah, I mean, tying back to Sega Tide, wasn't this game... Isn't the, the same designer as Sonic the Hedgehog, the character creator? Yeah, so the guy who... The character designer beside, behind Sonic the Hedgehog, behind, like... Uh, Nights in the Dreams. Nights in the Dreams, and, like, a bunch of, like, old Dreamcast stuff was the character designer on this Fighting game. Fighting Jelly Beans. Yeah, man. Look at that little frog. Hey, look at him. You gonna shoot him in the butt? No, wait, I'm gonna let him turn around. How do you fight? You suck him up or do you attack him? Do you bounce on him? Boop. We shoot bombs at him? I shoot a bomb at him. Oh, he blew up. Because when you shoot normal garbage at him, he just sucks it up and eats oh, it. So you gotta dance. shoot a bomb at him. Bad uh, crystal combos? You... Yeah, basically, like. Don't like, mess with that bad crystal, Blink. Say no crystal. to drugs. <laughs> you have to get, like, certain co crystal combos to get these time events. Okay. Um, oh, okay. They're pretty much gimmicks. They don't really do much in the game. It's only later levels where you really need them. When you rewind, does it do like scan lines, like a V, like a VHS or like yeah. a VCR? Yeah. It, uh, when I died earlier, it showed like a bunch of lines going across the screen, and we're gonna mess this guy up. Oh yeah. And so this bridge collapse, like, oh no, what are we gonna do? It's like, oh, I'm a time cat. <laughs> you everyone wait forgot. Wait for time. Okay, it's like Link to the Past, mm -hmm. going back 100 years. <laughs> Mess up these uh, jelly beans. See, this would be cool if there's NPCs in the world too. That'd be awesome. Ah, uh, yeah. This three, two, one shit's annoying. <laughs> yeah, like I I'm so used to how this game controls, but yeah. I understand like the complaints about this game. Like the basic, I guess I should break down how this game works. Is each level is like its own little tiny stage, and you have to kill all the monsters in the level, um, and that unlocks the goal. These are the monsters. They all yeah. look like friends. Look They're just. Uh, uh. Doesn't look oh. like a villain. 
Do any of them have like razor sharp claws or something? Or are they all just yeah, like candy? Yeah, a couple of them kind of look like scary people in the end. Okay. So basically after you kill all the monsters, the time gate opens up at the end and you have to go to the time gate. Your character walks pretty fucking, for someone who designed Sonic, this guy can uh, really pick up the pace. Here's the, here's the- He's like, that's how I ran the mile in PE. <laughs> here's the thing though, you only have 10 minutes to complete each level. Why, why doesn't he hurry up? So the He's main, taking his time. The He's a time cat, he's slow as hell. The main complaint with this game is that Blinks walks very slow. You have to kill all the monsters and get to the he time didn't get gate. Any secrets. Nah, man, I'm all about. It. I already got today's him. income. He's just uh, a working man. But and then you only have ten minutes to do it. So some of the later levels, like the early on, it's fine. Like if I go to like one of these levels. Forgotten. What's like a more Sega ass level? What other level do you want to play? Uh, like this one, like. This is like the notorious hardest level in the game. Like this took me nine minutes to beat. Oh. So like I was cutting it close. So some of these get a little frustrating. Um, I like this. I like this area. It's a funny lot. like nine minutes is like a long time to beat a level. Like because like with shit like Dark Souls, I'll be stuck in the same spot for like two hours listening yeah. to a podcast. <laughs> oh, yeah. But defeat the time monster. Oh, I mean, this is cool. when I was a kid, I got this game and I got Jet Set Radio Future with my Xbox, yeah. and I also got like I think I got NFL Fever and Amped, mm -hmm. and I only play Blinks and Jet well, Set Radio Well, I do appreciate Future. like these bright green, these neon colored lights that are popping. Like, yeah, it looks it, 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 again, it's very colorful, which I like. Yeah, but I was just I was just a huge sucker of like these really bright cartoony yeah. graphics. Things but you're like also Jet someone Set. who did like animation in high school. Like you were like into like. Yeah, just that whole vibe. very into animation, anime vibe as a kid. Can you meet Spongebob in this level? I wish. This looks like Bikini Bottom. But look, I, I just, also the composer who did the music in this game also worked on like Space Channel 5. Oh, yeah. uh, he did the music for the Sega Genesis uh, Evangelion game. Oh, okay. Which is super cool. He did Panzer Dragoon Saga too. Mm -hmm. So like this game has a ton of like recognizable names behind it, but it's developed by R2 and never did anything else really besides like bad like DS games. Where's this guy? So, you say Blinks 2 isn't worth playing, but is no. this game, would you recommend this to people? Because this is backwards compatible on 360. Would you, uh, would you recommend people to play this? That's the thing. It's like, it, I wouldn't... Oh, I died. Oh, uh, I wouldn't say this retry. game... Yeah, I got plenty of retries. I wouldn't say this game is, like, particularly good. Okay. Like, I'm a huge fan of it because I played it as a kid, and I'm a fan of, like, its charm. But it does control weird. Uh, it can be a little frustrating because you only have a certain amount of time to complete levels. This UI will take over. I'm just, I'm just not used to this. Yo, there's so much. There's so much crammed yeah. in all spots of the screen. Yeah. So the top right is how many monsters I have left to kill. Uh, the bottom right is how much trash I have. I feel like you don't need those giant bubbles for the retries. Just have a single retry block and then yeah. a number. You know, like that's too much. <laughs> the fucking thing pops with six months. Gee. What are, what is these trash things on the bottom right? Is that your vacuum? You yeah. gotta dump it. That's how much that's how much trash I have in my uh in my vacuum right here. You wanna see something crazy? Are you a janitor or uh, how no? Many I'm, job? A time, I'm a time cat. Boop. Is um, that a secret? It's a secret. Oh nice. What do you um, get with the secrets? Do you get more unlockables? You unlock like concept art and stuff. I think. Oh, it's been right. forever. It's been forever. Um, yeah, he's fucking real like slow. I said, I'm a I'm a time cat. You so, need to add like dashes or something. Uh, when the time gets all messed up, I have to come into these worlds and suck up the time. Obviously, Frank, if you were paying attention, I was a time cat. I just can't get over how metallic everything is. I love it. It's so cool looking. They really have fun. Eat with this these giant. <laughs> Do the monsters attack you? You're just going around sucking stuff and shooting That's stuff. It feels like there's no conflict in this. Oh yeah, like, he'll fuck me up if he runs. <laughs> he'll at fuck me. you. Let me see him fuck you up. Oh, I messed him up. Rewind time. Because also, uh, also they kill. Uh, you die in one hit in this game. What? Yeah. What the hell? You die in one hit. So if that guy touches me, I would die. So that's why you have to like. Uh... Uh, Blinks isn't very tough. Master Chief's his shields recharge. Yeah. He's, also, Master how... Chief's way cooler. Look I like the the. Yeah, sky the clouds. Like that's it's cool. so cool. It's so cool. Ugh. Okay. I don't know what the hot air balloon monster is. That green thing. Those things are. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's uh -oh. coming to the Don't let him touch oh. you. Nope. Oh. Now oh, see, man. see, he touched me. That's it. Yeah. So uh, I gotta rewind some... time. Can you get like body armor or something? No, man. This game's for real gamers only. <laughs> real gamers. One hit kill. Damn. All right. Let's see you do this again. Oh, that's some real. Showing off all your moves, huh? Yeah. Showing off all the moves. Well, it's like, I don't ever use the time really, What's so might as well use it. What's the record button do in this? And it lets you record a copy of yourself. Okay. So you can, like, record a copy of yourself, and there's, if there's a bunch of monsters on screen, yeah. your copy can shoot one, then yeah. you can shoot one. Uh, there's also puzzles later on in the game where there requires two buttons to be pressed at once, Ooh. stuff like that. You might break the DVD player if you do that. Yeah. Don't tell mom or dad. But, uh, like, like I said, the game never really requires, like, a lot of the time stuff. Yeah. They're mainly just, like, keys. Like, oh, you have to get to this section, like... 
record yourself pressing these two buttons, stuff like that. Okay, little puzzles. Yeah. So people are always begging, you know, Microsoft and Sega, oh, bring back uh, Jet Set Radio. All right, is anyone begging Artoom to still uh, do blinks, or is Artoom just done? That's or never going to happen. Or went out of business. Oh, what? Like in 2010. I mean, they should rewind and uh, try to, be, to get a, you know, throw them some retries. Yeah, but um, the only fans who still really like this game, because, like, occasionally, like, I'll reblock some music from this game yeah. on Tumblr or I'll post it because I really do like the music and visuals of this game. I just find it so charming. Um, but the only people who are still super into this game are furries. Yeah. Like, if you go on, like, Blinks fandoms or stuff like that. Is all good deviant art. Yeah, out there? it's so much fan art. Is of there Blinks. any fan art of him using the vacuum cleaner on himself? I mean, we can request it if you want. I wanna, I'll, I'll look that up. Let me yeah. let me know in the comments. Hey, someone send that fan art to my email. Yeah, direct uh, uh, DM. <laughs> just giving a little self suck with Blinks. I like to see that. But I just liked how, like, I just like how small chunks these levels are. And again, I just love the visuals of it. Again. Yeah, man. I mean, hey, I was talking. Oh, you get money for What's in my vacuum? Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm down with that. I like collecting stuff. Like, I just like everything about this game. Even even besides, like, the gameplay of it. Um, do you want to see a really dumb boss? Yeah, let's see. Let's see the boss. Uh, I like this boss a lot. Now, you're fighting, like, Sludge and whatever. What, what, what are the bosses in this? They're time monsters, man. Okay. Look at this. Listen to this fucking intense boss music. Getting you ramped up. He's bow, still bow, fucking bow. taking his time. Just so much trash. I feel like the trash is, like, a secondary the world, thing. The world has gone awry, Frank. The people have been turned into time crystals. The pigs have taken over. And there's time monsters everywhere. And I'm a cat. And yeah, I but that's like saying Captain America save the world. Yeah. Oh, also, can you bring this handheld vacuum cleaner and clean up the dust as hey, you're going? Hey, that's my job. Look at this time frog. Yeah, we got a vacuum at the same time. You have to kill this boss. Like, that's, I, I feel like you should have a sidekick whose job is just to vacuum stuff. All right, I'm gonna mess this boss up. Does Blinks get a promotion in the sequel where he doesn't have to vacuum up anymore? That's uh, such a. You don't play as Blinks in the sequel. Which is why it sucks. You create okay. your own cat. What? Yeah. Oh, he sucked up it up. He sucked it they up. They made a Blink sequel where you don't play as Blinks? Yep, that's why the game sucks. That's like uh, that's like making a, a Metal Gear game where you don't play as Solid Snake. Yeah, hey, who would do that? So is Blinks 2 like the Sons of Liberty of, uh, of Metal Gear? Do they yeah, trick it's, you? Yeah, it's real meta. It's real postmodern. <laughs> okay. See, all right. That make, that sounds cool. Maybe Blinks 2 is really cool. Who's the Raiden of Blinks 2? Um, per, The Professor Cat. I okay. forget his name. All right. There we go. Oh, you just shoot trash at him? Yep. This is the whole boss fight is just waiting for him to turn around. Look at him, he's a time- oh. Oh, I like his mouth is a portal. He's a time frog. Time frog, alright. Like, he's like a kind of a frog dude, and he's got numbers. <laughs> all the bosses in this game look like Jello, and they all have this numbers This is just like, this is giving me like a sugar headache just looking at it. Like, not, my stomach is hurting, I just I had get, too much candy. As a kid, I, I just loved it. I loved it. I mean, to be fair, I played a lot of obnoxious looking stuff on Super Nintendo, too. Oh, okay, I'm gonna pause time once he goes back over there. Jesus. Yeah, I mean... During this whole era, like, Mario 64 was revolutionary for doing 3D platformers, and then over the next 10 years, we had all these other people making 3D platformers, and, like, many of them gotten lost to time. Yeah. Like, people still remember, like, Crash Bandicoot, you know, Mario, stuff like that, but, like, no one talks about Blinks anymore. Uh, you're also a big fan of Voodoo Vince at the I time. I love Voodoo Vince. <laughs> Voodoo Vince actually still holds up. Okay, all right. Voodoo well, Vince, like, that. plays pretty well. The music's fantastic. It's got, it's got really... I think Voodoo Vince is really funny and charming, okay. whereas this game... I would say it's charming, yeah. but it has no dialogue or anything yeah, in it. There's also what a chance the what the hell is the game? Grab by the ghoulies. Oh, grab by the ghoulies. I like that game. Grab by the ghoulies. Uh, I like all the bad one, platformers. One platformer I really liked on GameCube was Pac-Man World Two. I've never played Pac-Man World Two. Again, I played it when I was 12, so I don't know if it holds up. But I really like Pac-Man World Two. There was Klonoa on PS2, which had really pretty art. Um, Rayman was always a thing, and those they still make games in that current gens. But I never played Rayman. But uh, there's uh, uh, Ty. Uh, what the hell was Ty? Ty I, is like a kangaroo or something like and that. And there was right? Vex. Just all these. I played Vex. That Vex. was that was bad. It was Jesus. Like... In the comments, let me know what forgotten 3D platform are we all about? Were you a Voodoo Vince man? Were you Blinks man? Were you uh, something else that no were one cares about? Were you a about? Whiplash man? What the hell is Whiplash? Doctor Muto man. Doctor, yeah, it's too much gross shit out there. Uh -huh. What was the Tack and the Power of Juju? Oh, that I, game's so ugly. I watched ugly. Nickelodeon all the time, and Nickelodeon Studios with THQ made their game, and they crammed it down your throats, and that was so ugly to me. Almost got it. Can you go swim without a lifeguard? Is that dangerous? I'm gonna get this retry. Boop. All right. What are the perp, Chris? Oh, that's health. Yeah, man. All right, I'm so like, slowly... quiet now. Yeah, like, this music's so good. I don't know. I just don't, I just don't get the juice from it. Dun, 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 dun. Who's the gate? What is it? What do you say? It's. He it, it just said something cool. It's like is, is, it, is this in Japanese? I don't know. Actually, we can. 
Alright, we're gonna hop out of here. We can start a new game and watch the right. opening cutscene. It'll, uh, it'll establish right. the whole story. You know, some people say you gotta hook the audience by the yeah. first ten minutes that they're out, so... Well, we weren't, weren't, weren't you hooked? Uh, no. Were, weren't you I'm hooked almost, by I'm the... Ready, I'm ready to tap out, but let me see the opening. Let's all see right. if you can right. blow my mind. Let's do some Tarantino Oops. stuff. Show the opening at the ending. Alright, so we're gonna start a new game here. Just cut right to the opening. Oh, your hard progress. Oh, which data box? This uh -oh. data box full. Oh, no! Right. <gasps> no, are you sure? Yes. What? Bruce, you don't know which data box that is. That's the green one. All right. <laughs> you don't know who Savio wrote. All right, this is the, okay. You weren't into the game so far, but here's the story. All right, I'll watch this. Yeah. Okay. That's like they recorded their voice backwards. Well, okay, this is cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look how cool this is. All right. This is like Twin Peaks when they speak right? when they record the midget speaking backwards. It sounds really creepy. All right, I like this music. <laughs> Alright, see, I like this. Who do you think is talking right now? Blinks? Yeah. Master Chief. Cortana. Yeah. See, this is very safe. Look at all these oh, cats. What the hell? Look at all these cats. Bruce, you should have opened with this. This is way cooler. Look at all these cats. Those are is that you? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Blinks. <laughs> this game is great. This is like the main. Okay, I like this. This is cool. See, I wasn't hooked on the story, so I had no fucking context. Uh, I got bad news for you. There's only two cutscenes in this game. Oh. One at the beginning, one at the end. Well, I like the I like this cutscene. This is great. Like again, I think this game is mainly fascinating for coming out on the Xbox. This is like a Pixar movie. Yeah. I've watched this. This is like Monsters Inc. Like being forgotten to time. And it's, it's exactly like Monsters. It's Inc. become like a laughing joke now. Like, oh, remember Blinks? Yeah, this is cool. But hey, I dig it. It's it's goofy. He's got bowling shoes on. Yeah, he's got the big Sonic shoes. I don't know what's happening. Oh, it's the pigs. Oh, man. B1, Q4, 64. This music's tight. Right. This is really cool. Oh, oh no. no! Look at Princess that. Peach. Oh, they turn, people turn into Chris. Yeah. No, the I've Tom been... Tom gang. And he's selling them. Wow. That's messed up, man. That's, messed... That's cool. Wow, oh. it's like Twilight Zone. And if they sit there too long, they become time War monsters. War of the Worlds. Oh, man. Ah! I'm pretty sure in the sequel, you and the pigs are on the same side or something. Wait, like so that. if they're time lords, can't they see the future and prevent this before this even happens? No, they don't. They don't predict. They just balance time. So this isn't like Minority yeah. Report. No. Oh, they captured the princess, dude. Oh shoot. Yeah, she's tough. Oh. oh. Wow, damsel in distress yeah. trope. I'm I a, I'm a cat. She's a girl. I gotta go. Whoa, that's a. Uh... Mixing species, all right. Mm -hmm. Hey, well, I'm a boy. I like the cute shop girl, yeah. so you know it balances out. One for me. One oh, for mother me. computer, mother computer. <laughs> yeah. Mother computer. Whoa. Yeah. Look at they gotta ban destroy the world. They're gonna. I like that guy's purple hoodie. Yeah. yeah, one of those. They're gonna they're gonna blow up the world, Frank. They're right. destroying the world. E one Q six four. This is a long ass cut. Right. Like movie. This is like, right. This is like Metal Gear. Look too. at all these cats. Jesus. Where's Blink's gonna go? What do you think, man? He's gotta save the princess. He's gonna you know? go there. Oh wow! This all these cats. I love this cat. Do you have a cool opening cutscene? No, it sucks. Blinks. Also, it's not in this made-up language, which is so cool. Look at him. He's gotta say the princess. He's like Mario. All right, I respect that. I respect the right. Whoa! I want to see him jump in. This is a really long cutscene. Holy crap! It's not that long. That's like two minutes. It's like a movie. He's he's gonna do it. Oh, this is so washed out. <laughs> no, what are you talking about? It's <laughs> just so, this. These colors need to be retooled. We should have reshot that. And then it starts. And, and that's then it blinks. dumps you back in this ugly UI. What are you talking about? Ugh. Well, hey, it clamps down. Mwah. I was charmed by that cutscene. That was pretty cool. The Time sweep begins. begins. Time sweep begins. Let me see this real fast. Sorry. Pass me the rock. Defeat all monsters. Okay, this controls like how I expect. Oh, I hate tutorial stuff. All right. Well, how are you supposed to know what's going I, on, Frank? You know what? This, I'm... You gotta pause. This ain't my first rodeo. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna guess all the controls. Okay. There you go. Pause time. Oh, not before that thing fell, though. You can't get inside there no more. Oh, whatever. <laughs> you found some trash. Hold right trigger RX. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Only five pieces of trash. That's because well, this is the starter can. This three, two, one thing. How do you shoot trash? It's uh, X or right trigger. You can't suck up that. Oh, okay. you just shot that trash. All right. I get the gist. Wait, go kill the monsters around the corner. Uh, I'll, I'll go, say, go, I'll go, go, say kill. go kill. Go kill. 
Where? Go kill. He's go up the trash route. What's this? Is it a secret? Yeah, you can't get in there. How can I not get in there? Because you didn't pause time to stop the thing from collapsing, oh, Frank. Come on. Okay. That's some advanced shit. That's he's like right some... around the corner. He's not your friend. This guy? So, yeah, the game will tell you. This is the time. Pull right. Is this like some near automata stuff where it's like these cute and these monsters are actually innocent? I mean, they look so friendly. I don't, I don't want to spoil the complexity of. Oh, Blake's the time sweeper. Two monsters to go. Give me them people back. Give me the people. You're su you're using people as time. This is like a weird. Up. And you can concept. suck it up too. Yeah, man. You gotta pause. Right. Feel the bubbles. Where the bubbles come from? I don't know. It's, it's a. Can I suck them up? Yeah. Get I me. Mean, go for it. Oh. Did you trick me? Frank. Can you not suck him up? Frank. Can you not suck him up? Frank. Can you not suck him up? I don't know. He looks like you didn't, hey, you didn't do a good job there. Can you suck him up or not? I don't know, man. Don't play you these. Said, you said you want to figure it out, right? All right, I'm pause time. Let me just know. Can I suck him up? Give it a shot. Breezy, can you just answer me? No, you can't suck him up. Oh, come on. Why oh, I... Frank. Frank. All right, I want to fast forward to the end of this episode. All right, so that was Blinks and Time Sweeper, one of my favorite childhood games. Uh, if you're playing it fresh today, it's not going to hold up as well. Uh, the controls are a little bit, like, kind of weird, and the game has got this weird UI over it. Yeah. And again, the time mechanic can be a little, <laughs> like, frustrating in the very Too end of the Too advanced for not Math Wizard to figure out. Yeah, but um, I really like this game still. I think it's really cute. I think it's charming. I love the music and style of it, which it's is pretty good. a huge thing for me. If a game's got excellent music and style... Yeah, just style color. Yeah, right? I just... Yeah. I kind of like look over it a little bit, but Frank, this was your first time really seeing it. Uh, what'd you think of it? I think the game sucks. Well, I mean, that's not really fair. I mean, like, did you stop? Hey, 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 did you I'm trying to, I'm trying to work here. Just a little cat mischief. Yeah, yeah. Not, yeah you only got one life, not nine, man. Um, I'd seen the game as a kid. Uh, I was too cool for that, but uh, the music's cool. It does have a little bit of that Sega charm. The UI and everything else is kind of ugly, but you know, fair enough. I'll give it no thumbs. I'm going to give it like a solid thumbs up. You know, the game gets a little hard in the end, but I still, I, it makes me happy. But, you know, only on Xbox. It does work on Xbox 360 for all you time cats out there who want to save the world of time crystals. But we're not going to save the world of time. We're going to save the world by answering your emails. You've got mail. We got an awesome fan art from Harrison Wood. Thank you. Someone understands. Someone knows what I've been going through. This bottom fragger to my right here. No, He's you're the, the bottom yeah, fragger. You're the true bottom. You're the one who's got to bully you. You're the only bottom fragger. No, I'm calling bully. you a bottom fragger. You know, you're the jerk. Thank hey, you. Someone no. understands what I have to put up with every day here at the office. I'm just, I'm just sitting here trying to play my cute cat games, and he's you over know, here. You know, just a little, little baby money. on the on the basketball court. Uh, I do want to say that's pretty good. That's a little warning out there for all your bottom fraggers. If you get hanging with the best. And you die like hey, the hey, rest. Whoa, hey, whoa. <laughs> you know, hey, only top fraggers up in this game. Hey, I'm not. Uh, I'm not gonna say nothing like Harrison, that. Harrison uh, also sent an email in response to our Half Life Two episode. He was saying we were kind of skipping and ignoring Father Gregory, asking if we skip the story beats in games. I was kind of uh, playing Half Life Two Raven Home section kind of fast just to get the gist of it. Usually though, if I'm playing a game for the first time and it's good, I'll pay attention to the story. If it's a game I'm not playing for the story, like Dynasty Warriors, I don't. I'm not gonna fuck. I'll just skip yeah. the cutscenes. I don't care. Um, when I was younger, I would skip cutscenes a lot. Like, I didn't care. But, if, like, stuff like Metal Gear, like, you take every story beat in. But even, like, now I'm playing through Wolfenstein, like, yeah, I'll listen to what they have to say. But if it's a game that just, like, is kind of shitty or it loses me, eh, I'll kind of breeze through. But what's your take on story I'm in the stuff? same way. I'm playing Wolfenstein 2 right yeah. now as well. And I'm playing with headphones on, yep, getting yep. every... I Absorbed. read all the documents, stuff like yeah. that. Again, if a game's really well written, yeah. I'm all about it, but... A great example is I like the Borderlands games. Oh fuck hate, that! Hate how they're yeah. written. I'll listen to podcasts. Yeah, while I, I play that. music, play podcasts. Yeah. there's certain like Destiny. Eve 2. Destiny. Yep. I skipped all the like yeah. I skipped most of the cutscenes in Destiny 2 because I did not care. Yeah, I give every game like a fair shot. Yeah. For the most part, like if it's a single player narrative game, yeah, like Uncharted, Last of like yeah. everything. If it's like more of a podcast type game or a multiplayer game, you know, whatever. But I, I think it just depends on what the story is at. Uh, but yeah, yeah, depends on how well it's written. That's all. Yeah, yeah. This is this this series is very well produced, very listened. So I'm hoping people don't just skip forward to the juicy parts where my face is on screen. I yeah. hope people watch the game. Don't play. have pad podcasts going on in the background <laughs> while, while, you're, you're, watching while you're watching this. Yeah. Hey, you know, there's some younger kids who can do that. There's some uh, screenagers. You know, one, you know, one in each year. Yeah, yeah. Got everything going on. Maybe that might be good. But anyways, thanks for watching. Let us know. Do you think uh, the cat girl was cuter or the human girl? You yeah, know, leave a comment below. What's your taste? And also, be sure to link Frank all the uh, fan art you can yeah, find. Yeah, let me see. Find some uh, yeah. self-sucking of uh, links of time. Tag him on Twitter. How do they yeah. tag you on Twitter? Uh, I'm at Frank Howley. And I'm underscore Bruce. You can email the show at the computer show at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. uh, and then also let us know what was your favorite uh, shitty 
uh, 3D platformer for Xbox or hey, PS2. Uh, what are you saying about Blinks? Were you in Bruce's camp with hey, Blinks? What are you saying about Blinks? I don't know. All right, I'll catch all you cats on the flip side at the computer. Meow.